we are doing a four loops mock test and this is for grade 10 RT. We're dealing with the next question. For this program, we're going to be taking in two integer values that represent a start and a finishing time. And that time is, as you can see, is in minutes. So that's 115 minutes to 125 minutes. And we must display all of those, all the times, all the integer times from 115 to 125. And we're going to convert those minutes into hours and minutes. Okay, so there we can see we're going from the 115 to the 125. So we're displaying the minutes. And then we're going to convert it. So 115 minutes is actually 1 hour and 55 minutes. So we're going to be dividing this by 60 to try our work. And then whatever's left over will be the number of minutes. So how many 60s can we fit? So for example, in this 123, how many 60s are in 123? There are two 60s. So therefore, there are two hours. And then what's left over after we take out the two 60 minutes, we're left with the three minutes. And that's what, how we're going to be doing that. Okay, so we're looking at that space. So what I like to do with these type of questions, just do it column by column. So we're going to display, first of all, let's display the headings if they're not there. And then we're going to display just this for now. So let's just do that part. And then we'll come back to the other part. So there we got the, the program. So we've got the inputs already done. They've cleared the memo for us. So I'm going to start off by displaying those uh, headings. So lines.add. And we're displaying the word minutes. And then we're going to put a hash nine because I remember seeing like a bit of a gap. So I think there was like a tab. You can see there minutes there's a bit of a tab and then converted time is the next label that we want to next heading so converted time is going to be the next heading so there we go so those are our two little headings so now i'm going to do a for loop and i'm going to r variable so i'm going to use r i've already declared it at the top there and i'm going to go from what to what well let's look at the program again we want to go from that value to that value so whatever our inputs are so our inputs are our start. So we're going to st go from our start to our finish. And we're going to be doing a couple things here. So I'm going to say begin, end, and this is the end of my for loop. And so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, going to I'm just going to go straight to the display. Memo output dot lines dot add. I want to just display this first column. This guy's going 115, 116, 117. Do I have a variable that's doing that? Yes, I do. That's my for loop variable. So I'm just going to display my for loop variable R. But remember, memos need strings, and I is not a string, it's an integer. So we convert it from an integer to a string. And there we go. So let's just see what this looks like for now. So let's run it, let it compile, let it do its thing, boom, boom, and see if we can get it to look like that. We want to see that effect happening. Okay, so here's my program. If I click display, do you see we get that? We got that done. Now, inside this for loop, so we display an R. So when I get that 115, I want to take that 115 and I want to find out how many hours are in 115 and how many minutes are in 115. So that's what I'm doing next. So over here, so I'm, I'm got, I've used those three variables. Now I've got our, our variable, our minutes. So I'm using R every time. So if, if you look at this, when I'm when I'm finding these values, I'm using that to work out that. When I'm getting one hour and fifty seven, I'm using that. So I'm using the R the R value to work out how many hours and minutes. So that's what I need to do every single time. So I need to use this R. So when I work out how many hours, so I work out the R. That I'm, I need to work out how many hours there are in R. How do I do that? I want to find how many times sixty can go into that. Now, if I divide by 60, that's fine. That'll tell me how many times 60 goes into R, but it'll leave me with a decimal number. Hmm. And also, this R hour is an integer, and I want to keep it. What happens if I make use div? Now, if you remember, div tells you how many times does 60 go into R exact, or how many times does it go in there. It doesn't tell you what's left over. It doesn't tell you the remainder. So if you've got like 10 div 3, it'll say 3 can go into 10 three times. That's it. Okay, so we know that we're going to find out how many times the 60 going to R. We don't care about the decimal. We don't care about the remainder. Just tell me how many times the 60 fit into R, which will be 115. And then I'm going to put a hash. Uh, let's do a hash 9 here. And then we're going to just, we're going to display this R hour. I'm just going to display it. Just display the R hour. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say R. But that's an integer. So I'm just going to put it from an int to a string. So that it can fit into this memo. Okay. So let's do that. 
So here we go. Let's have a look. So we're going to display, and you can see that we're getting that one 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 and at one twenty it changes to two. So we're getting the hours right. Then we we'll display the word hours and then that ampersand symbol. So I'm going to do that now. So after the hours, I'm going to add not a hash nine, but just the text hours and and then a space like that. So let's see what that looks like. Are we getting close? Display. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we're going to display the number that represents the minutes, and that's what's left over. So that's what's left over after you take the 60 out. So that's the remainder. So we're going to work out the minutes. So our min, I'm going to say our min is equal to r mod 60. So once we put once we divide by 60, what's left over? That's what mod tells me. What's left over? So if I've got 123, 60 can go into it twice. But when I find mod, mod will say 60. Although 60 can go into twice, if once I've taken those two 60s out, what's left over? It'll be the three. And so after that, we're going to display our min. But remember, our min's an integer, so I'm going to convert it from an int to a string so that it fits into the, yes, correct, memo. So let's run it now. Boom. What does it look like? Does it look like that. Are we getting the right values? Yes, we are. So 123, it's two hours and three. Mm, we want to say the word minutes, so we're going to have to say the word minutes at the end here. So let's go back to the program, and at the end, we're going to final little bit, space, minutes, put in the last little bit of text. And if we run it the final time, let's look. Is this the final time? Are we run it? And there we go we've got our program working exactly like it should and there we go so great we've done this question and if i change these numbers let's say i change it from 45 or let's make it 55 so we can see the 60 to 75 we can see boom there we go you can see 55 and it gets to 60 it changes to one hour and there we go fantastic well done everyone for the other videos from this mock test, go to our YouTube channel. Please click on that subscribe button, like our videos, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.